I'm Dimitris Koskinas. I, I sing and play the guitar. I am Sotiris Pomonis and I play guitar. Johnny Mulas, I'm a drummer. And so, basically, to start off with, for those people who haven't heard of you guys, how would you describe yourselves? It's a, it's a mix of influences. Uh, we play prog music because we, we love many styles and kinds and we have no problem with that. We don't want to, to leave out anything of our experiences and musical uh, tastes. So we just make the perfect mix in the way we, we decided together. We are five different people, five different people, five different musicians. But uh, we are a good company, so we're trying to uh, accept the influence of uh, each other. Uh, you guys are from Greece, am I right? Yeah. And um, how did how have you found the, the music scene in Greece? Is, has it been easy to, to get out there and get gigs and establish yourself? Or so you know, I was talking to a band from Ireland yesterday, and they were they moved over to England now because they struggled for Something exposure. Something like that. Stuff, so. yeah, we in, back in Greece, there's a great uh, rock scene, many great bands, metal or rock or you know styles like that. But the problem is that there there are not so much venues, promoters and stuff like that. And uh, that's sad because we have great musicians, great bands, and there's no place to play. The market is, uh, the market is too small. We're, yeah. we're, because we're a small country and the market is too small uh, for us to play and live uh, for, from our music. Because how often do you play overseas then? Do you find yourself having to go outside of Greece for gigs or do you just... Uh, this is the first time, is the first time yeah. that we've played out of Greece. We surely want to, but okay, that's depending from a lot of uh, things. But uh, yeah, sure, it's uh, more. Uh, it's better here. It's better, and it's more, <laughs> it's it's more likely to be heard and more likely to do something with this kind of music outside Greece. That's 100% certain. <laughs> yes, uh, here we felt uh, that uh, the people who listen to our music, uh, they know what to listen to. In English, it's not for us. <laughs> it's too difficult for us. Would relocating be something that you would you would debate doing, you know, to, to go and live in England or America or something? It's rather difficult about now because we have, the, we have our lives in Greece, we have our jobs, uh, Maybe, ne we never say never. We are open. Never, never say never. It, it is a big thing because, you know, you would be giving up everything, wouldn't you, to, to sacrifice it for the money, which... If you know, uh, the uh, timing is right, we, we shall do it. Mm. If things uh, yeah. seems okay for us, so we'll do it. We are open. We, this is our, our dream. This is our dream. So if uh, everything... Uh, <laughs> it's, it becomes easier for us to, to make our dream a reality, then we'll do that. Um, you've, I've noticed a few of CDs started, um, kicking around the media centre this weekend. Um, in terms of getting out there and your exposure and you know, just let, making people hear your music, how important is it just to get your name out there? And like, like this weekend, you're giving away your, your CDs here for free, and then hopefully you know, someone might go home, give it a listen and, and fall in love with you. It's very important because uh, uh, here the, in this place, we met with people who who know this music, who know what we do. This is the place where this music was born. This is uh, uh, open-minded uh, people here, and uh, it's very important for us that we have the, that we had this opportunity to to communicate and connect. And uh, we hope that uh, this will this will be just the start of the journey. What, in terms of going back to the roots of the band and, and your influences, what are your first memories of listening to progressive music? <laughs> this is a question that we can answer to you. Do you have uh, time? <laughs> 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 uh, listen, when as far I... as I'm concerned, my first uh, primary prog influences was King Grimson, of course. And it, to me, it all, it all starts there. Uh, all the discography, uh, King Grimson, yes. You know, all the English 70s, uh, the 70s prog rock scene, yes. Uh, Genesis, of course. Of course, uh, I first, uh, <laughs> when Queen. I was 11 years old, <laughs> the first uh, rock uh, progressive rock that I heard was uh, Focus. 
Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so Did you see them to the castle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very good. Very good, very good. Uh, also in Crimson, but a uh, lot of stuff from Hard Rock. Uh, Let's have it in Deep Purple. Deep Purple, a lot of that from uh, United States, Jimmy Hendrix, uh, Toto, our stuff, some jazz, a little bit of Django Reinhardt, I play also Django Reinhardt stuff, a lot of kind of different genres of music. Is it, is it important in terms of the songwriting process that, you know, when you're looking for influences, that you, you look outside of the pro rock spectrum? I mean, yes. I mean, as a musician myself, I'm, you know, I'm like, we write a song and think, what well, King Crimson do in this situation? But ever so often it's nice to work for professionals to think, well, King Crimson would do that, but Deep Deep Purple would do this, and it creates, you know, a diversity. Mm -hmm. Is that how you guys work? If something it's, you know, clicks, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, beautiful to our ears, then we said it's okay. <laughs> no matter where no matter it, what. it leads musically, so we we have a solo that reminds someone of Jimmy Hendrix or a, a riff that it's like a sugar. What else? It, it's okay if, if, if we like it in our ears. Then we have no labels, you know. so it kind of works uh, its way. Because, uh, as I said in another interview, if a melody is stuck in our heads after the rehearsal or after a recording, then it's good. <laughs> so we keep it. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if that's really no. heavy, really soft. No, 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 no. not at all. Yeah. Um, listening to you guys this morning, you've got to see, rhythmically, it seems like you've got a big, solid backbone in that sense that. You know, all the songs have got a very strong sense of rhythm. Is, is that something that you you try and do on purpose? You know, to, you know, well, to get the foot tapping along. Yeah. This is the base from which music without rhythm does not exist. You can do music here. When I, when I studied music, my teacher told me that if I cut your veins, first it come out rhythm and then the notes. I remember that ever ever since. And. It's true, it's the heartbeat. Rhythm is the heartbeat. Uh, these guys there, John and uh, Theo on bass, they, they are so uh, multi-influenced people that you have to deal with them if you want to play. Them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, but uh, it's always uh, something, uh, let's say, um, pleasant. pleasant to, to do in the rehearsal. Okay, let's do it this way, the other way. But always in order to to stuck on something that is really okay with what we want to do. Also, we have a lot of uh, odd rhythms uh, in our songs. Uh, odd rhythms is in our country is something common. Traditional, in traditional music. music in our traditional music, it's something common. People uh, dance with the odd rhythm. Here uh, in uh, Western civilized in Western countries. Uh, it's, too, it's more difficult for the people to understand the odd meters. For us, it's something common. Do, do the sort of traditional music in that sense, does that have any bearing on your sound at all? Do you, do you find yourself almost uh, unconsciously incorporating those? Yes, it, I mean, these are sounds that you're going to be around growing up all the time. So. It's something that is, is happening unconsciously. It's something that, because we have we have heard all that kind of music as kids and uh, we grow up with that. You know, it's really based on, on that when we, we started to play, we didn't want to live outside anything. It's that I told you before. Um, oh, I like the sound of uh, the traditional anything organ, let's say. Let's try with the guitar. How shall I make it happen? And uh, incorporate the rhythms. It's in our blood. and. We don't try for that. I think that's certainly like strikes a chord with me in terms of like as a musician myself, you, you write what's true to yourself, I think. And yes, we do. If, if you naturally you're writing in the weirdest time signature or whatever, as long as it comes from the heart and you know you mean it and it's true to yourself, then that's that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how it works. <laughs> we have to play music and uh, enjoy music. We try to enjoy music. 